up our last couple days of scouting seen a couple good rams no shooters yet um, been really windy it's been really hard to turn up um, some sheep but uh, tomorrow's our last day of wind so we'll see what comes after that hunter just arrived at camp so we're gonna head on back do a little meet and greet and um, yeah go from there we'll see what happens tomorrow so new day How you guys doing? I'm stoked to be out here on a bighorn sheep hunt here in the Clark and Kingston mountain ranges. Uh, we got a lot of weather last night, big rainstorm came in, so we're down here in the valley today, glassing up into the skyline and the ridges and seeing if we can see anything. And I'm super grateful for uh, Josh and Sierra Crest Outfitters for coming out here and putting their time in and seeing if we can find me the big one. And I'm grateful for my uh, family, my brother, my dad, a couple of my cousins, some uncles, and a family friend coming out here with me and supporting me. Uh, it's a once in a lifetime tag, and I got lucky enough to draw it at 21 years old. So we're going to see what we can do and hopefully we'll find a big one. Change your track sometime. that are kind of diagonal, like the closest ones. Yeah. Um, there's a bench, and he's sitting right there. He's laying down. His left side's broom. My only concern is his mass. Well, not only, but like that seems like it might be a big one. I don't know, dude. He's pretty heavy. He likes to look sit from here. Dude, he is keen in on us. Yeah. Dude, that's a good ram. I'm pretty sure. He needs to like turn and do some things like I was saying, but like he looks really nice. He's, 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 he's heavy. Like he's heavy down to like where he's broomed. He, but he comes flat off the top. That's what scares me. I gotta see him move around. He just turned. afternoon day two we're up here we hiked up this morning got on this peak we're just been glassing all day we got guys surrounding this mountain Let's see if we can find any sheep come down any rams uh, 
last night <clears throat> we were shooting the guns, making sure they're straight. And uh, Marcus called Josh, said he had a good ram. So we hauled ass over there and went and took a look at it. And uh, me and Josh decided to walk up closer about 700 more yards to get a closer look at it. It was about, about a 160 ram. Uh, not exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for something a little bigger, hopefully 170 or higher. But uh, it's pretty exciting day one to see a ram like that. So we're going to keep, keep glassing and then figure out a game plan for tomorrow if we don't see anything up here. Day three, uh, pretty early in the morning. We had about an hour ride to the spot that we're gonna start walking up in. Uh, got some weather, there's some snow up at the peaks. Uh, it's pretty cold today. Uh, we're actually back at the same area that we, uh, that Marcus spotted that nice. It was actually a 164, 165 ram. So we're hoping to see some more big rams in this area. Uh, yesterday, a couple guys spotted a, some decent rams. One was about 160 and the other one was, a, was about a three quarter curl, so. Not what we're looking for, but hopefully we see some bigger ones today and the weather helps us out a little bit. glassing up on this peak. Uh, we've moved peak to peak today. It's pretty much what we've done all day. Uh, pretty slow day. We've only seen a couple ewes. Um, no rams yet. Uh, we're hoping the more peaks we move, we're, we just see in these canyons and everything. And <clears throat> hopefully get a better vantage point to see where they're hiding out at. Uh, this morning we hiked up a couple miles up this little washout. And it led all the way up here and then <clears throat> climbed our way up here. So we've been posted up on a few of these peaks all day and uh, that'll probably be what the rest of the day is going to look like and then hopefully we can find a big ram. around the mountain and we just got a call saying they found a ram so we're trying to get a pinpoint on exactly where he's at <clears throat> and then we're gonna try to figure out a way to stalk him and then hopefully get a good shot and hopefully put him down so super exciting morning hopefully it turns out good
heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked. Behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death. And hell followed with him. Change of tracks of time. We got a ram down in the uh, Clark and Kingston mountain ranges. Uh, it was a long hunt. It was actually day five. Uh, everyone put their time in, mile after mile of walking. Some slow days, not seeing anything, but my brother spotted this ram last night and uh, we decided to come back to the same mountain range that we saw him, got up on him, and uh, Spencer hiked up this mountain, saw him, got a good shot about 300 yards and stoned him. So super stoked i mean it's a once in a lifetime hunt and i'm really thankful for josh and sierra crest outfitters and his whole crew i mean they put their time in i'm very appreciative of them and my family my dad my brother my cousin michael cousin cody my two uncles perry and paul and my good buddy derek everyone made it out here and made this hunt special so i really appreciate them Someday.